it's your double C Cruise, your boys at it, Chunk Chunk. And I am back again with another banger for you guys today. We're coming back this is some up. Bam! Oh, this is hectic. That's hectic. My hat fell off. I tried to be cool and get the little in and out hat. Nah. It's looking pretty hectic, to be honest. I'm just going to use this for the thumbnail. Uh, actually, let's just get straight to it. Let's get a prayer in the thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And as that you do, please bl uh, bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go ahead and get a thumbnail with this. I ain't going to keep this on all, all video. That's kind of low-key hectic. I'm going to take this diaper off. All right. Let me get one thing that. Oh, huh. That's a hit. Trying to be cool for y'all. All right, wait. Yeah, in and out. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Let's dive in, y'all. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I've been away from the scene for a little bit. It's been a little bit for been away from the uh, the camera. Mm. I just got back to Houston. Hmm. Just touch back down. Someone's calling me. Who is this? I think I'm gonna call him back. I don't know who that is. But I just got back to Houston, you guys, and um, I was in Phoenix. Had a great time with the fam, bam. That's the reason why I haven't done any content in a little bit. I was in Phoenix, Arizona, and we were hunting off. I like it out there. Phoenix is a place I can see myself living in. No cap. Um, I was in Phoenix. I was in Scottsdale. I was in Goodyear. Um, who else was I at? Some other suburbs of Phoenix, but um. Phoenix is real smooth. I was downtown Phoenix. Yeah, I like it. Um, I feel like there's not too many cities that, you know, I say I actually like and to see myself living. But I could definitely see myself posting up in, uh, in Phoenix. Now, a lot of people, well, the time I went was, I guess, was a great time. Oh, these animal fries are tough and rough. Can I eat the whole thing in one bite? Nah. Mm. But, a lot of people said I went through a, uh, at a good time. It's in November, so the weather is bearable. Otherwise, it's like a hundred and something degrees. Which I understand, but it is a dry heat. So I want to know if Phoenix is dry heat. That's like, let's say 110 dry heat is as hot as a Houston 90 degrees humid heat. Because you know, we got the humid heat here. And um, the humid heat, heat is way more hectic than dry heat. But even if it is super hot, at the end of the day, I know I could live there because there's millions of people who are doing it now. If they can bear it, I can bear it. Plus, uh, I'm a fan of hot weather. Probably not that hot, but I'll choose hot over winter. Now, their nights are real chilly though. We have some super chilly nights there. Real cold. And actually, I low key got a story time. So, first day we get there, 
We arrived, happy go lucky. Um, me and my parents sit there, then my brother arrives. And then we go to, uh, I don't know if we went to get food. Or pick up something to drink. We did one of the two. Probably did both of them. And we get back, right? Head into the house. And I hear like a like a, like a snake sound. And at first I'm thinking, oh, it could be uh, it could be a sprinkler system, right? Because long story, because we did pick up liquor actually, and I set the liquor on this bench that was in like the corner of the house so I can go grab more stuff. So I'm gonna go back to this bench. I hit this bench. I hear. And I'm like, now it's maybe a sprinkler system. And then as I get close to the bench, I hear it loud. And I'm like, y'all hear that? What is that? Y'all hear that? And dad's like, ah, oh, it's just a water thing. And then, because I backed away. I'm like, y'all hear that? Because it's still going as it backed away. No, it's just a water thing. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what I thought too. But I don't know, maybe I'm tripping out because I'm th still thinking, okay, it's a snake. We, we are in Phoenix now, the desert. So I go back to go grab it again. Now everybody's listening. As I go back and get started, going crazy. It's all, oh snap. And I grab my thing and we, and then I, I grabbed it real quick, went right aside. And after that, after, uh, so after that happened, me and Darius come back to go look. This was probably like an hour later, me and Darius go back. And we, me and Darius came up with the conclusion that was 100% a snake. Because there's no, first of all, they have, it was all rocks. And uh, it's cacti. Now, cacti does take water, but they don't need water. Not enough for a watering system. And they have no grass. I and mean, they had turf. They had like fake turf. No grass in, on the neighborhoods. Just rocks, fake turf, and uh, some cactuses. So why would they have a watering system? It just doesn't make sense. And we looked around. We couldn't find a little water spouts. So yeah, we 100% determined it was a snake. And on my first day in Phoenix, I almost got bitten by a snake. And if a snake's doing tss, that's not all snakes. That's all. That's a rattle. That's in my head. That's a rattlesnake. Cause a lot of snakes don't give don't give a hissing sound warning. Um, I know that's what you guys think of snakes. I love snakes. Snakes is actually I grew up snakes being one of my favorite animals. But a lot of snakes don't give a, a warning at all. Um, but a rattlesnake does. So I'm thinking that could have been a rattle. And if I would have got bit on my first day, that would have been heck. That would have been cool on Phoenix. But, other than me being almost getting bitten by a snake, <laughs> uh, the trip was real smooth. Um, Scottsdale, beautiful neighborhood. One thing I like about Phoenix too is we got all the franchises, like all the food franchises. Like food that you can find, like fast foods that you can find in the Midwest are in Phoenix. Fast foods you can find in Houston are in Phoenix, down south. Food fast foods you can find on the East Coast are in Phoenix. Like Phoenix had all the uh, fast food franchises, which I really like. We had Patillo's, Culver's, uh, In N Out, which is a West Coast thing, Waterburger, down south thing, Raising Canes, Jack in the Box. Uh, Jolly Bees, they had legit every every single uh, fast food spot. So I was like, oh, that's real turned out. Oh, it's just turned out. Oh, so I didn't save my. I don't know if I can see on camera, <laughs> which is kind of hectic. But, you know, I got cut up and I told my brother not to touch my cheeks. He just lined up my stash. I'm like, I touched my cheeks and my chin because I'm trying to grow my beard out. And it's hectic if you guys can't see it right now on camera because I promise you there's a little scrub there. But I got my haircut right before I went out there. I didn't get touched the whole time I was out there. You know, being faithful and loyal to the barber. But I didn't get touched the whole time I was out there. And this whole little stubble grew. So I'm like, okay, they did that in eight days. 
Let me see if I, if I go a month without it. Maybe low key I can get a beard. And then also my brother, my brother is just hairier than me because my brother has like all this, like he's, it's not thick, but he has all that hair right there. I'm thinking if he gets it lined up, it will definitely be very defined. So I'm okay, this is because always, now that I get cut up, I take it all off all the time. You know, just have them shave it. But, I almost made eight days, now I got a little grubble. I hope y'all can see it on camera. But I got a little grubble there, so we'll see. I'm gonna try my hardest to stick it out all December. I usually get frustrated and um, have to cut it. But I'm gonna try my hardest. Stick it out all December, all the way till 2022 and see what it does. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. What is that? Okay. Mm -hmm. That was about to be hectic. It was a piece of iron. It was like a string of iron. That was about to be hectic. And on the end now, it's about to be canceled. So, you know, in and out. This, this Denise Bees in the West Coast, but I just don't feel like it's messing with uh, with Culver's, you know. Culver's is our, in the Midwest, um, one of our franchises in, um, in Wisconsin. I just don't think in and out is comparing to it. But I'm noticing all these restaurants with very simple menus are taking off, you know, like, you know, the Raisin Canes and in and outs and That's the only two I think I'm saying all these restaurants. That's the only two I can think of with very simple menus. Oh, uh, Five Guys. Yeah, they're really simple because they will offer burger, hot dogs, and what makes them your biggest, all the condiments. And then they give you a shake or a drink. But yeah, all these... Uh, restaurants that got these uh, simple menus, they always be taken off. And it's low key better for them because uh, they don't got that much inventory to order. <laughs> I need to go ahead and uh, come out with my own restaurant. If I do that, just want to support it. Chunk chunks. Now see it? Chunk chunks. We can get the chunkiest food. Every all proportions are oversized. I'm going to chunk chunks today. You know, time to link up at chunk chunks for our dinner. Go after the club, I'm going to Chunk Chunks. Got a little ring to it. Would y'all come support it? Would y'all come to Chunk Chunks restaurant? Honestly, it takes, it takes a lot uh, to run a restaurant. And in the first few years too, I'm gonna have to pretty much be there 100%. It's not as sweet like just me being a boss and then just sitting back and relaxing unless you just got bands on bands to run it. And hire every every position, like I'm talking about assistant manager, manager, general, like the people to run it. But even then, you know, if I open my own restaurant, I want to be there to make sure it grows the right way. And then once I know, like it's doing good, I want to put it into someone's hands that I know can really run it. And I just sit back on the back end. But to be honest, though, I'd rather go into real estate before I do the restaurant. I don't know. I know my parents don't want to do a restaurant at all. They uh, I know my parents are ask all the time, I'm going to seafood restaurant. My parents are cool with that. <clears throat> I'm checking their uh, lemonade, their zero sugar lemonade. Mm, I ain't gonna tap. This food making me feel real quick. 
because I'm eating burgers though, for real. I don't eat burgers all day. Not a big burger person. And you know what's crazy part is, I know it sounds weird, but I'd rather eat a burger from a fast food restaurant than like a grilled burger or a burger from a, a normal restaurant. I just don't like real burgers, I think. It's like fast food burgers, but it's not like I love fast food burgers, but if I am going to eat a burger, it'll be a fast food burger before a real grilled burger. Which I know that's weird. I know it's super weird. Alright, I don't know. It's always been like that. But, I got the two uh, double doubles, and I added extra in and out sauce, and had two wild, I mean, animal style fries. And now I'm thinking about it, I can't believe I ate two double doubles in a whole animal style fry. That's actually kind of crazy. Mm. And I ate it quick too, because we only been filming for 16 minutes. And then on Caperoni, I am full, fully, fully full. But I'm seeing everybody doing Vlogmas. Um, I want to, but uh, maybe next year. <laughs> maybe next year, I'll get to it. My vlogmas is very, very much so popping, especially seeing some of my homies do it. And it's like, dang, I really gotta do it, but maybe next year though, for me, for vlogmas. If I did do vlogmas though, it'll probably be mukbang vlog, mukbang vlog, mukbang vlog. Cause I know y'all love the mukbangs. And I know I keep switching up the name Mukbangs and Mukbangs, but I don't know which one is the correct one. So I'm saying, I think it's Mukbangs, but I say both. I know y'all love those. The vlogs can get hectic, but I promise y'all I'm, I'm gonna get back to vlogs too. The reason why I stopped is because, like I said, it's felt like a lot of people weren't watching the vlogs, but I'm gonna get back to them now and give them another shot because I do hear positive feedback, but like I said, I did the whole thing, like if I got 100 comments saying it, and then 30,000 people will watch it, you know? That's the thing, but I don't know, I'm gonna get back to the vlogs. The reason why I like doing vlogs too is because I love just to see the, uh, I'm sorry, someone just dropped out of my house super slow. I love seeing the, um, just the time, the time lapse, the time capsule. Just saying, oh, back then I was doing this and that and this and that and having a ball. But when I was doing vlogs uh, with the team, those were long days. Those were like eight hour shifts. And, we're, and we only did a few of those, like when we did the ATV or going to the range or, um, and we did some stuff that we never even released. We did an arcade day, and uh, those were long days, long, long days. When I say long days, I'm talking about six to eight hours of filming just for a video that's 30, 30 minutes long. But, uh, but when I look back at those videos, I'm so sorry, y'all. I shouldn't have left. I usually close my blinds, but I got my blinds open because, uh, Someone needed to come through and stuff of that sort, but when I look back at those videos, even though they didn't get the most views, those are some of my favorite videos though, because just us having a ball, us having a good time, us kicking it, you know, being with my homies and chilling, you know? <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna call it a day on this. Okay, my dog's on you. I'm fully gonna check on the dog. And it's kind of crazy, like I said, two, two uh, double doubles. That's like some dick match. 
That's crazy. Remember when Nicole did the quadruple Big Mac challenge? Remember y'all? Remember that challenge, y'all? I really appreciate it. That was all about. I really appreciate it, right? Who I decided to, to do the challenge. But y'all, I'm going to call it a day. I'm so full. I'm back in Houston. Riding out for a few days in Houston. And then I'm flying out, back out again. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. Big uh, collabs coming with the fan band. Stay tuned for that. I don't know. And Phoenix, I rock a child. Rock a child. I definitely come back uh, to hang out there. Phoenix is my type of city. But ZCC family, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All as a chancha, Z A D D Y, C H O K, C H O K. Hope you guys enjoy this in and out. Hope you guys enjoy this meal that you're eating with me. Let me know what's your favorite uh, fast food restaurant. Do you guys think if you guys had Culver's? I, I don't think Culver's is everywhere. But um, well, I don't think I know Culver's not everywhere. But if you did have Col Culver's before, is Culver's better than In N Out? You know, I, I, all the West Coast people I know always say that In N Out is just the best of the best. But I guess it's nostalgic. This is what they grew up with. But Clover is not like a nostalgia for me. It's just better than In and Out, though. But ZCC family, make sure. Oh, I think I Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all of that. Trying to Z D Y C H M K C H M K. But ZCC family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it. Showtime, the whole place hopping, stage rocking. This for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever, like I'm Bay watching.